Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout Friday. It's Johnny VR here and I'm going to tell you about my latest encounter. So it started off when one of the daily quests was to kill a legendary enemy at a fisher site. So I was just hopping around fisher sites because legendary scorch beasts tend to spawn there and if you're, un if you're as unlucky as me then you have to hop around before one actually crawls out of the fissure. As I made my way to my next fissure site, I decided to attack everything around me to build up my adrenaline so I can do more damage to the Scorch Beasts. Unfortunately, I was unlucky again and it was not a legendary Scorch Beast. So I proceeded to kill everything anyway because I knew that I wouldn't be able to fast travel away with enemies nearby. And as I was dealing damage to the Scorch Beast, I heard a funny noise. After that, the Scorch Beast turned bright purple and started to look more polygon-like. And I thought, wow, that is one heck of a glitch Bethesda has left in their game. And then I turned around, and there it was, the Flatwoods Monster. So I immediately opened fire, it blipped away in a teleport, and that was it, I thought. I won't see it again for another few months. So I continued to attack the Scorch Beast. And then I heard the familiar sound again. And it turns out he was back for more, shooting at me with his alien blaster hands. So I opened fire. And within a few seconds, I had managed to slay the Flatwoods monster. And I got a healthy dose of atoms for it as well. So when I went up to loot him, all he had was some crystal shards, some waste acid, and a spatula. So as I found out, there is absolutely no good reason to kill the Flatwood monster. They don't have any alien loot or any rare plans or anything like that. The only reason why I would want to kill it is for the atoms that I got, uh, which, which was like to kill all the cryptids and to kill the human-like creatures. After taking out the Scorch Beast, I went on over to the corpse of the Flatwoods monster. I put on my tinfoil hat to protect myself from the alien's mind control rays. And then I proceeded to take epic selfies to show people that I was not crazy and to document my encounter. Now in the one year and five months that Fallout 76 has been out, I've only encountered the Flatwoods monster three times and twice before it had just disappeared into thin air and never I never saw it again. So the fact that this time it stayed around for a for a fight meant that I was able to finally kill the Flatwoods monster and just in time for Wastelanders as well. So now I can tell all of the new NPCs about my encounter and tell them to beware if they see a glowing purple alien in the wasteland. So thanks very much for watching and make sure you tune in on April 14th where me and Shaq will be live streaming Fallout 76 Wastelanders DLC. And make sure you subscribe for every Friday. We have got more Fallout videos and we will continue the campaign of Wastelanders. So with all that said and done, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.